Do you ever intentionally or unintentionally criticize or nitpick your partner? Sometimes we don't even know we are doing it. Our anxiety starts building up. We see something that we perceive they're doing wrong and we start trying to help them through it or make sure they do it right. Stay after the show reel and I'll show you how not to make this mistake anymore in your relationship. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. All right, one of the biggest things that I see is once we're in a relationship or if we think somebody has a different way of doing things than we do, we try to correct them and make it different. For example, I was camping in uh, Death Valley State Park, right? And I'm sitting there by the campfire and this man and this woman who seemed like they'd been together for quite a while, were sitting there, right? And the woman's sitting there reading her book and there's a light behind her because it's kind of dark and the guy's getting ready for dinner. And she's like, well, make sure you put butter in that pan. And he's like, okay. And he put butter in the pan. She goes, how much, how much butter did you put in there? I don't know, about two tablespoons. Oh, probably two tablespoons too much. You should probably only put one. Okay, I only put in one tablespoon. And she continued this. Oh, why are you doing that? Where are you going? Why are you going over there? Well, don't you think you should put the chicken in the pan first before you do that? And the whole time she was offering these little critical suggestions that he took with a grain of salt, or at least outwardly, but it was driving me crazy, right? Because does it really matter? Usually, unless you're baking, unless it's actual chemistry, does it matter what the order is? Like, yes, a chef would say, you have to do it this way and you have to do it that way because it pulls out the flavors differently. You wanna toast the spices because it brings this forward. You wanna caramelize the onions in a certain way. But most of us, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Our palate is not that sensitive. But now take this into a broader field. Have you ever questioned your partner critically? And how was that for you and for them? I don't know about you, but I noticed in myself when I start getting critical, I start feeling anxious, I start feeling nervous. And for me, it can be a trust thing. It can be a sense that something's gonna go wrong. But once again, it's all internal. It's pretty rare that somebody else is doing something that's actually wrong or going to be detrimental to whatever they are fixing, doing, supporting, helping with, right? So think about it. When you catch yourself asking your partner, oh, why are you doing it that way? Or don't you think you should do it this way? Well, how much did you put in there? Pause and see, is that really necessary? And notice as well, how is your partner responding to you when you're doing these little critical things? Is your partner opening and feeling more close and connected and intimate with you? Or is your partner pulling away like, okay, I guess I'll do it. Yes, dear. And feeling like maybe they're not good enough and they start stepping back. So how's your partner reacting? So notice these things as you start interacting and as you notice yourself being critical. And if someone's being a little bit critical to you, the next step is to notice how are you taking that criticism? Are you taking it on like, yes, you're right. Nothing I ever do is right. You're right, I don't know how to do this. Yes, it's true. Sometimes we don't know how to do things. Sometimes we need guidance and support and to be taught. But sometimes when it's something little like how you're cooking dinner or how you're making the bed or how you're putting the dishes in the dishwasher, those little pet peeves that we tend to start getting on our partners about that actually create bickering and arguments. What is under that for both sides? So once the bickering starts, because now you're feeling like you're not doing it good enough, your partner's feeling like it's not good enough, like fine, you wanna do it yourself? Why don't you do it then? Obviously I'm not good enough. And those little bickers can start turning into arguments, can start turning into resentments, can turn into these bigger pet peeves, can turn into a whole challenge in the relationship. So my suggestion to you, instead of saying, don't do that, do it this way, do it this way, is start asking for what is it you want. You can even acknowledge, like, <laughs> I think it's so funny that I'm feeling myself get anxious about how much butter you're putting in the pan right now. I don't know why that is, but can we add a little bit less butter? So using this for your partners and in these ways will help you shift that bickering from something that's negative, something that creates the argument to something that's more supportive and helpful. So step one, notice, when you're being critical of your partner. 
try to reframe. Number two, what do you want instead? So instead of saying what you don't want, because the brain actually doesn't hear don't. The subconscious brain, if, you say, if I say don't think of a blue elephant, your brain goes, oh, I'm not supposed to think of a blue elephant. So you think of a blue elephant and then you have to redirect to not thinking of a blue elephant. The same thing goes when you're being critical of your partner. Don't do the dishes like that. Don't put that there. Don't treat me like, right? The brain has to reset. So instead ask for what you want. Here's what I want. I want help making dinner. I would like you to stop criticizing me because I feel like I know how to cook. Or hey, like I said, acknowledging your emotion. I'm feeling anxious because I'm so used to cooking this way. I know it seems really silly, but I'm afraid it won't turn out right. And then also turn into yourself like, is it really gonna be the end of the world if the chicken's a little overdone or gets a little dry? Right? Probably not. So notice, what are you doing? How is it making you feel? Acknowledge the facts, acknowledge your reaction to it and make positive shifts for yourself and for your partner. Open up that line of communication and remember, comment below. I wanna hear what your pet peeves are. Where do you find yourself being critical of your significant other? And where are they critical of you? How would you like to reframe that? What would you like to say instead? Write it in the comments. What would you like to say instead of like, oh, that drives me crazy, please don't do that. Okay? All right, check out my other videos. I'm doing ones on intimacy, on how to help other people, on how to make your relationships, your friendships even more valuable. I've got a book coming out soon, so look for the videos on that. And until then, know that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable.